Hey guys, welcome to Digit Dot In, and as you can see, we have gaming on a thin and light laptop, and that is only possible because we have an external GPU and some other really really cool Thunderbolt three solutions. And I have with me uh, someone who's going to just walk us through the different kind of solutions that you can expect and understand with uh, Thunderbolt three. So we have two really cool setups out here. So can you tell us what's happening here? Sure. So what we have here, this is more of a gaming notebook. So it's a Dell XPS, and if you don't want to store all of your game libraries and fill up your internal storage. What we have is through Thunderbolt, since Thunderbolt uh, tunnels PCIe, NVMe is based on PCIe. It used to be just for internal storage, but with Thunderbolt you can actually take that now out and put it into an external closure and we have a PCIe NVMe SSE drive which is uh, very fast, up to 2,800 megabytes per second. So basically, you've got external storage as fast as what's in your internal storage. So if you have, what is the maximum capacity that one can get in these Thunderbolt 3 PCIe-based storages? Up to one terabyte. Up to one terabyte. So it's mostly staple that when you buy a machine, you get 128 or 256 GB of storage, which, let's face it, is not a lot when it comes to storing your exactly. games. So you can have uh, an external uh, drive like this one. Now, uh, with just limited number of Thunderbolt 3 ports on a machine. If somebody has an adapter or a Thunderbolt 3 monitor with pass-through, would they be able to connect this to the monitor to access the data Absolutely. or through an adapter? Would that work fine? Right, right. Right. All right. That's great. And the next solution we have here is external graphics, which is really, really interesting because I could take this to work with me. And when I come back home, I just plug in one cable, switch on the power. And you said that this is powering the machine as well, right? That's right. So can you talk a little bit about the setup? Yeah, so it's exactly what you said. So now I've got a thin and light notebook that I can take around with me all day. I can use it. I can carry this around. I won't want to carry a big gaming notebook because it's just so heavy and bulky. So I've got a thin and light, not normally designed to do gaming with or even you know CAD work any of those type of heavy uh, GPU intensive applications but with Thunderbolt again I can with one Thunderbolt cable go out to my external GPU now all the the processing power is over on my my graphics card rather than using my graphics which are inside the little notebook we've also got so both AMD and Nvidia uh, certifies their desktop as well as their workstation card so if you do want to do heavier workloads like CAD you can use a workstation card. We have several different chassis. You can put the, the cards in those chassis. This happens to be just a built-in one okay. with a small, you know, kind of a portable gaming box, but we do have bigger boxes for bigger uh, cards as well. And this would support the 10 and 20 series from NVIDIA and the newer cards from AMD as well? Exactly. Based on the chassis, of course. Based on the chassis, yep. Yep. And uh, so when you have a traditional notebook which has the graphics card or even a desktop setup, would there be any throttling or bottlenecking happening because of the Thunderbolt 3 setup or is it as good as having a desktop setup? It's it's a little bit less. You're never going to get exactly what the, the, you know, if you want the highest performance, a desktop is going to give you that. Yeah. But this isn't compared. So you really don't want to compare this versus the desktop. You compare this versus what you had. I have this in my notebook today. I can't game, but now I can hook in my external graphics and I can game. Is right. it is it is as good as a desktop? No, but it's it's up to 15 times better than what you could get in a normal notebook. Okay. And uh, of course, uh, based on the case, the external case and the GPU that you get, it could always be upgradable. So if I got a case and let's say put a 1070 today, a year later, I could upgrade it to a 2070 if a the case allowed it, right? Absolutely. That, that's the beauty of having an external case is those, those are uh, upgradable. Today, this has got a 1080 card in it. Okay. But yes, for tomorrow, you can you know, take that apart put in your newest card and, and you're ready to go. All right, that's great. Thank you so much for this. Thanks. And uh, for more on uh, such solutions from uh, PCs, and of course, we saw this Thunderbolt 3 solution out here, you can uh, stay tuned to Digit.in, guys. We will catch you in another video. It's goodbye for now. For the latest technology updates, subscribe to Digit.in and don't forget to hit the bell icon.